Over their 12 year history, Mega Constructs has released a lot of exclusive products, like special run things maybe given out at events like STCC, or just really limited numbers on sale, like the new 20th anniversary pack. Today, I've got one of those examples. This is from STCC. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> Wait, hold on. This is from SDCC 2015, the Spartan Warrior. And I'm gonna open this today alongside, spoilers, a Halo Infinite Series 2 blind bag and a Halo Challenger Series blind bag. Cause you know, I didn't just wanna do one figure today, I wanted to give you guys a little bit more. So we've got the Warrior, Halo Infinite Series 2 and the Challenger. And it's funny cause like, I'm a little nostalgic from this. I remember, you know, seeing this in 2015, I got it straight away. I had one of my friends send it right over to me. And Mega Constructs, they really have stepped up their game with SDCC products, but they haven't been yearly. Like back in the day, we used to get one of these every year, sometimes two, and now it's uh, it's a little more scarce than that. And now they do such like large things, like the Halo Master Chief collection, or the SDCC Halo 5 Guardians collection, that they're just scalped so unbelievably online. You can still find these for very good prices, like under $10. So it's really worth your while. I'm gonna be doing a video soon. This is sort of like a teaser for a future video. In about a week or two's time, depending when they all arrive, I have ordered one of every single SDCC Halo single figure pack. So I'm gonna open them all in one go. And yeah, what, what are we gonna start with? I guess we're gonna build up to the SDCC. Let's start with an Infinite Series 2. We're gonna break open the industrial scissors for this one. I bought a full box of 32 of these a few weeks ago and I've still not opened them all. I'm hoping to get another Victor, but honestly, any of these. You guys wouldn't believe it. Like, it's such a meme. I've had these, I've had a full box of 32 for like almost a few, maybe like three weeks and I haven't opened any of them. So these are all brand new figures to me. Let's see what I get in this one. Three, two, one. On it. Okay, the Orange Spartan Hermes, the Kelly. Very nice. I was looking forward to getting this one. Look at those colors. Whoa, those oranges actually take me by surprise. That's interesting. All right, so Halo Infinite Series 3, probably the best one. I mean, I've not opened them again, you know, but probably the best series of uh, the Halo Infinite line, at least. The best blind bag series will probably always be Clash on the Ring. Oy. What is going on here? That does not want to go together. It must have been difficult to design the chest and back to be compatible with both male and female torsos, but they clearly have done it. You know me. I love when they alternate the color halfway down the limbs. It's just the best way of doing it. You might also notice that I've got these bits of sticker on me. Like this is all from my Mega Constructs Black Series video. I opened a few of them, including this Borderlands Psycho and his whole knee pad just came off. I tried to super glue it, but you will be sad to know that it just disintegrated in my hand when I applied some super glue. So that's a big rip on his knee pad there. We're gonna apply the legs now. Um, also, yeah, I always say that my blind bag opening videos are a way for me to just engage with the community, reflect, talk about what's going on in my life, because it's just such a such a calm space, you know? Just a nice place to, uh, to think. And, oh. Is there a missing piece? Yeah, definitely. We're missing the uh, belt attachment. We've got these two pieces, but then we're missing the main orange sort of belt that goes on top. I mean, it won't like, it, it doesn't sort of interfere with the overall quality of the figure. It still looks good. That's rough, man, especially on a video, especially the first one I've opened. It's interesting because I've heard a lot of uh, people complain about the quality control issues of the new blind bags. And hey ho, first one I ever open out of 32 of them and it's missing the belt. Big RIP. RIP for two things. RIP for the knee pads and for the belt. Goodness me. This is, a, this is a rough couple of videos. Still though, this Hermes looks really fantastic. I'm looking forward to opening my Razorback. I'm just looking for a day that I can live stream without anybody in the house, so uh, BRB on that one. But yeah, look at that. That blue visor is very sexy. The white and black, I mean, white and black is the perfect contrast, right? I mean, they made uh, four Pokemon games about it. So <laughs> yeah, that's really nice. Uh, the gravity hammer, just plain, plain old simple. You never get painted weapons in blind bags. But all in all, this Hermes is of a really good standard, really good quality. So, I mean, <laughs> really good quality when it comes with all the pieces. <laughs> this one is missing something. Let's open our superposable micro action figure. Figurine miniature super articulate. Figura de Archeon M miniatura super articulada. Heck yeah, exclusive figure, guys. Yeah, it's a little bit of a shame to open this, but I mean, it is what it is. I think this all comes 
completely disassembled as well. All right, which one's it gonna be? I'm really hoping for the 2015 Spartan Warrior. Three, two, one. Yeah, it's the Spartan Warrior. What a surprise. And yeah, that comes completely disintegrated. Look at that. In as many pieces as possible. Can confirm this does have both of the, uh, <laughs> the necessary pieces there. Look at that. We'll just pop that on while we're here. I love that red visor effect. A lot of the SDCC figures for a while were like bright, vibrant visors with dark colors. There were two lime green visor figures. So dope that they went with the, uh, the red. Let's snap this together. It's not going to take long to build this. I mean, I mean. How many, how many hundreds of figures have I built? And that's what I want today's comment section to be filled with. Let me know in the comments down below. How many Mega Constructs figures do you estimate you have built from blind bags, right? It's not how many you own, because a lot of them come pre-constructed. It's how many you've built. Let me know in the comments down below. I would love to know your estimates. My estimates, like, good lord, it must be like six or seven hundred. Really, really must be. The helmet is a slightly, slightly different shade of grey, because it's a soft plastic versus the hard plastic. That's usually the way. And then he comes with his tactical shotgun. Very nice. Look at that. Yeah, I don't remember the last time I've had one of these. And he comes with the old base plate, which I was never a fan of. Some people actually prefer this one. I know my friend Thomas Bovey does, but I don't. I much prefer the long, uh, sort of new base plates that can be used in dioramas. If you watch any of my diorama videos, I use these all the time. All right, Spartan Hermes and Spartan Warrior. Spartan Soldier and Warrior were some of my favorites. Like, I love them from uh, the OG Halo 4 and 5. We can now officially call Halo 4 and 5 OG. Then I'm going to zoom out for this. This is really special. Look at this. Yes, relive the good old days, man. All right, so the 2015, and then we've got the Jewelum Dharma Ghost, a classic. Storm Covenant Banshee with the brown elite. We've got Fire Team, maybe Taurus, or maybe, yeah, Taurus. Yeah, we got the, the uh, bull flag excavator cyclops i don't own this cyclops but i bought a load of these while i was in hong kong so i own many of those then we've got the scorpion look at that odst book then oh the gauss hog these are just some banger sets aren't they 10 out of 10 we got the gauss hog with the arbiter and master chief from halo 5 and the phaeton helio gunship helio skrill the phaeton Heli he yeah the phaeton gunship <laughs> what a lineup really good i mean mega was on top when halo 5 came out and they're on top again now Halo Infinite's come out, like, definitely. They're having a really good, uh, really good year. Really good two years, I think. I've seen this a million times in promotional material, but that is our lineup. The Wasp, I'm really excited to build. That Elite Ultra in the light blue. Um, it was a, it's a very contested thing on the internet. Do people like neon colors in their Halo Mega Constructs figures? Some people love them, some people hate them. I, for one, am all for them. I think they're goofy, I think they're a bit fun. The last blind bag for today is Challenger Series. I don't own many of these. The last blind bag opening video I made, I got the Grunt. And I would love to get that Marine, the ODST, the Elite, uh, with that green energy sword, so cool. I love when they make blind bags uh, following a color scheme, you know, Challenger, Warrior, Stormbound, Maverick, they're all great by me. So uh, what are we hoping for? <laughs> Usually, traditionally, when I open blind bags, the thing that I hope I don't get is what I get. That's what happened last time. I got the Grunt and I wanted to not get the Grunt. I do want to get that Banished Brute, but I think the person who sold me these probably coded the best ones out. So three, two, one, it's... Ooh, okay. Yeah, all right. It's the Spartan. Yeah, I'm, I'm all for that. I'm all for that. Give me that Spartan. Let's build this up. He comes with a basic assault rifle. Nothing to ring home about there, but look at that green visor. If only we'd open the other SDCC with the green visor and then they could have been brothers, but that's really nice. I've never seen this figure before, so this is definitely a first for me. They've brought back the old school speckled effect. When Mega Constructs first went to super articulation, you know, when they first introduced these new ball joints, they loved this speckled effect. They would usually just have one plain colored undersuit, not this half and half, and they would just have all of the armor with the little spits of speckles. And you know, it was a pretty dope thing to do. It does guarantee that every single figure is technically different. With so many speckles on each piece of armor, it's not really uh, possible to tell the difference between them, but still, you knew they were all different. After a couple of years of new articulation being out, I did get really sick of so many, like, single color figures. Especially the fire teams were the most guilty of that, that fire team Taurus I just showed off. Some of those fire teams, they're so forgettable because they're just one color through 
throughout. And I, I get it, you know, they're a fire team. I, I do get that they're one color, but there were so many more interesting fire teams than that. For example, the Oni Strike Force, that was so great. And you're gonna notice that the quality of these unboxings, these blind bag openings increases a lot because we now have an arm. This is not a tripod attaching this camera. It's like an arm bolted into the desk. So it's so much freer. I can move around. I don't have the camera right in front of me, this big tripod in front of my face. I can see the camera clearly. I can see that it's recording. <laughs> like a lot of big improvements with this arm. This white Spartan is our third one for today. Third and last, we've got a Spartan warrior. This white with a green visor. Love that from Halo Wars. Really, really nice. And the Spartan Hermes with a gravity hammer. Three dope figures with three very colorful visors. Like these actually go together pretty well as a set, aside from being from completely different sections of the universe, like Halo Wars, Halo 4, 5, and Halo Infinite. You could not get more different. All right, so hope you enjoyed this unboxing and thank you so much for tuning in today. This was another video with The Domain. You can check out my Black Series opening from yesterday. We are shooting up with subscribers right now. So if you could do anything for me, it would be to like this video, comment down below and make sure to subscribe with that bell on if you enjoy this content. Why don't you come back for more? All right, this was another video with the domain. You stay awesome, you stay safe, and these figures are signing off. Dun, 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 dun.